Welcome to the Asphalt Video Store. Today we're going to review Yagmans from our, our Space, also known as Space Amoeba. From 1970, directed by Yoshiro Honda for its 50th anniversary. The story is about a photojournalist who is sent to an island with pictures in order to show to investors by, so they could turn the island into a resort. Or, but then they discover on the island there are giant monsters that, that aliens took the form of, of on, the, on the island itself. The movie is good, I did like its story. It does have a common element with other Honda films. That element being the greedy businessman. The concept of the film is interesting. The characters are somewhat good and the special effects are well done, but some of the miniature effects are a bit obvious. But I did like the soundtrack of the film, so and also some of the cinematography, so I will give it four out of five stars. Only on this on VHS. It's unfortunately a cut box as you see here, it's not into the original casing. Probably appears to be A from a video store or B, they didn't want to have the box. In any case, here's the tape itself. This is the American International's picture dubs, or there's the AIP dub. And the odd thing about this one is, I'm not sure if it's in the Japanese version, but there's internal dialogue of the our main character. For example, in the scene where he's in the plane and all that, yeah, uh, you see him like in the plane and he brings up a newspaper and he like reads it out loud. Well, not really reading it out loud, like reading it in it to himself. Oh, uh, then he like goes on a short monologue until he looks outside eye the plane and sees a ship going down to the sea. It isn't like a narration, like for example, oh, the Raymond Burr version of of uh, Godzilla. Uh, of 1954 Godzilla came the monster. It isn't like a narrator sort of fashion. No, it only exists in one scene and there isn't any and in later in the film there isn't any like dialogue that, he, that he's talking to himself internally which is a bit odd. But in case. But then again the reason is part they need an excuse to read out the Japanese newspaper. Or, but in case. So fun fact this is the last non on Godzilla film Oh, directed by Shiro Honda, which is interesting and all that. And also, this is the first or special effects sort of movie, just like this, the first special effects movie by Toho, which is not supervised or made by uh, A.G. Superaya, uh, which he for unfortunately passed away of January of 1970. But in case. Well, it's a pretty good film. I suggest you get the Tokyo Shock DVD release. From what I heard, there is a... Blu-ray release, the, the only source I have is this one YouTube video. Oh, but the thing is, I'm feeling like it's a, like a bootleg. Yeah, because for some reason, it has the American, like the AIP version on a separate Blu-ray. And on a, another Blu-ray is the remaster 1080p version of of the films of Space Amoeba. The reason I say remaster 1080p, because from the video I watched, the guy was like saying, oh, it's like... Master from a video like it looks like we just let me like that. Yeah, I was saying, oh, it's all grainy. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking like it's from a VHS tape, but um, but it says like Japanese text and all that. The Blu ray packaging, so I'm not sure it's a Blu ray release, but you want to see the film in HD. Either uh, you could actually watch it from Amazon from my her from the website Wikizilla. So that's all the video. Have a nice day. Later on, come back to our video store.